Okay guys, so what do you think about the new DJI Action 3? It's supposed to be like this. That's kind of funny that DJI is going back to the old design. So what do you think about that? Is that a good idea? Does that prove that the Action 2 was a big failure for DJI? I don't know. I have the Action 2 and I love it. I also have, like you see, the old Osmo Action. But all the leaked image seems like they're going back to the old design. And that's many way DJI telling us that I did a mistake with the Action 2. And I think the biggest was mistake was to call the DJI Action 2 an action camera. It isn't. It's a perfect pocket camera. It's a perfect vlogging camera. It's a perfect camera. You can fit almost everywhere. And the magnetic mounting system is also really fun to use because you can mount the camera all over the place. So the new DJI Action 3 seems to be not a completely new design, but I'm pretty sure that the camera is going to be a little bit bigger than this one with a bigger sensor, higher resolutions, better stabilization, better audio and better color science. Maybe we will see 10 bit on the camera. I don't know, but it needs to be a little bit bigger if it's going to shoot in high resolutions. A lot of people was complaining about the old Action 2 overheating. I never experienced any overheating issues with uh, the Action 2, but that's maybe because I live in Norway and I'm always outdoor and all, always on the move. Uh, I never sit still with the camera indoors um, recording. But there's going to be a lot of improvement on the camera, I'm sure. And I was really surprised that DJI was launching the Action 3 now, but I can understand why, because GoPro is coming with Hero 11. And that also seems to be Sticking with the old design, completely the same as Hero 10, but I'm really sure it's going to be a bigger sensor on that camera too. But uh, the, awesome, the DJI Action 3 is going to be a fun camera to see. It seems to be a little bit bigger, as you can see on the leaked image by the dealer's drone, but the design looks more or less completely like this one. A little bit more bulkier, it needs to be that of course because of heating, and, and overall battery cap capacity is going to be much larger, I'm sure. But this is going to be fun to September to see uh, which camera, uh, DJI or GoPro, who's going to win this round and what will happen next. So what do you want to see on the new DJI Action 3? Uh, what's your dream for that camera? Everybody is talking about a one inch sensor. I don't think we're going to see that quite yet because they have to figure out the stabilization and heating issues and the camera is going to be much, uh, much uh, bigger I think. I'm not sure but uh, we're going to wait to see it's going to be fun. Am I going to get one? I'm not quite sure maybe I need to sell a camera or two to buy it but uh, first I want to see uh, all the reviews and I'm pretty sure a lot of the bigger creators has the camera for testing now. Always disappointing, of course, that DJI is always sending the cameras to the bigger channels because they always recommend everything. It doesn't, doesn't matter how bad it is. And they always say the same thing all the time. So I'm really hoping that one day uh, a manufacturer of action cameras or whatever can send me something for review so a real normal person can test it. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's what I hope for, of course, but of course, you need to be a big, big channel. That's just the way it is. So I'm sitting out, outside. It's, uh, the sun is going down really soon, but it's so beautiful to sit there and just look at the view. And uh, it's just beautiful. So it's going to be fun to see. I know I made a video about this before, but the leaked images seems to be uh, that this is going to be the design of the new uh, Osmo DJI Action 3. A little bit disappointing. I was hoping for a new camera module uh, for my Action 2, a little bit higher resolutions and overall um, better images, but I still think that the Action 2 is relevant, especially for my use, it's fun to use. So uh, thank you so much for watching, why don't give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and follow my journey and we will see if I'm going to get some of the new cameras, you never know. I'll see you on the next one.